Hello everyone, this is James the Local Viking, and in today's video, we're going to go over the GeoGrid system. So to get to our GeoGrid system, you're going to go to the top of your screen to the GeoGrid search, and you're going to see three buttons, Live Search, Schedule Search, and Google Places API Key. Google Places API Key is if you want to run searches off your Google Places API, you would simply click that button and click the plus sign to add your API key right here. So let's start with a live search. The difference between a live search and a scheduled search is a live search is going to be your one-time scans. A scheduled search is going to be you're making a schedule to be ran every week or every month on either one or more than one keyword. To set up a live uh, geogrid you have four methods to find a Google My Business listing of your choice. The first one is by My GMB, and that's going to simply allow you to select any listings you have synced to Local Viking. The second one is going to be by Google Search, so you can simply type in a name like you would in Google Maps, and it will populate here. The third one is by a map URL. So if you went to Google Maps and you search for a listing, you would take this entire URL right here and enter in the local Viking. The last method is by the place ID. If you downloaded an extension called GatherUp, it makes it very easy to grab the place ID. Once you have the GatherUp extension downloaded, you're going to click the GatherUp button to the top right and it's going to give you the Google Map URL and your review link. In that review link is your place ID. So you would simply copy that place ID and paste it into Local Viking. Once you've identified the listing you want to run a GeoGrid for, you're going to enter in the, the keyword that you'd like to run, a, uh, run the report for. and you can set up the settings. So I recommend doing a, a mile between each of the nodes and setting the grid size for 9x9. Nine nine. This is a great baseline setting to start with and you can increase or decrease the size or the distance between each node as well as the grid size at will. You can also drag the grid center so maybe you didn't want to have anything over the waterway, or maybe you know you rank well in Manhattan and you want to see uh, how you rank more near Brooklyn and Queens. Even if even though you're moving to Grid Center, it's still going to reference the address wherever that address was, which initially it was in Manhattan. Once you have all your settings set up, you're going to click this button here, and your scan will be ran. Once your scan is complete, it's going to end up in the history section. This is what a complete scan looks like. So you see how it creates um, nodes based on the grid size you made. So this is a 13 by 13 grid set between two miles between each node. Each one of these nodes is also interactable, so you can click into any of these nodes and, and see what competition is in front of you as well as behind you. You can choose to, to save the image here to share within your company or send to a client. You can choose to export to CSV data. That will give you a CSV file of all the listings that appear in every single node which allows you to sort and do some deep data analysis. Uh, you can copy the link that'll simply just copy the internal link made here so you can hand to coworkers. Now the schedule geogrid section once again you can find any GMB listing through the same four methods we went over 
but now you can actually start to set up a, a schedule to be ran on the keywords and listings of your choice. You can set up for a weekly or a monthly schedule. I personally like doing a monthly schedule first week of the month at the recommended settings of a mile between each node uh, using a 9 by 9 scan. Once, you, once you've created your schedule, you click this button over here and it's going to end up in the config section. So as time progresses, um, all the listings that you're tracking will be in the config section. And if you click this button here, you can go to any keyword that you're running. And it's going to show you a timeline of all the work, all the progress you've made in Google Maps. And even though these are scans ran in the past, all these nodes are still interactable. So you can see who's who's in front of you and who's behind you at any given location, at any given time that a scan was ran. Uh, we also have a feature to download and generate a GIF. And a GIF would simply show you all the scans that were ran and flicker through like this. And that completes our video on the GeoGrid rank tracking report. If there's any other questions or concerns, please reach out to customer support, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care now.